Welcome once again to a Bash the Trash mini show. This is number five in response to the coronavirus. And uh, just like uh, you all, we are at home right now. And what we're doing is we are uh, sequestered because of the quarantine. And um, my name is John Bertels. I'm the co-director of Bash the Trash. I'm Karina Piaggio. I'm also a co-director of Bash the Trash. And if you're wondering uh, why we are together, it's because we're also husband and wife as well. So we are very much together. So we're coming to you from Hastings on Hudson, New York, which is the headquarters of Bash the Trash. And as you can see from our uh, brightly painted digital background back there, which is actually painted by our neighbor. Um, these little mini shows are ways for us to give back to the community about how to build musical instruments, to explore curious ideas. Uh, sometimes we talk about musical things, but sometimes we talk about other kinds of stuff as well. In fact, on Tuesday, we're going to be having a person coming to us from Cleveland. Uh, her name is Melissa McClelland, and she does some really interesting stuff. She photographs food for a living. I love that. And the, the idea is that we're going to be able to actually find out how you can photograph photograph your own food better as well. Um, today we're going to be doing a couple different things. We're going to be taking a look at some resources of uh, building musical instruments. We're going to take a look at where you can find some instrument building instructions. We're going to be premiering a brand new video about building balloon drums, so you'll actually see how you can build some drums out of balloons. And Karina and I are going to do a little improv on our balloon drums just to sort of get things started in just a moment. And later on, we're going to be also meeting Jonah Udall, and you can see he's over there. Uh, and uh, Jonah is part of Make Music Day, and we're going to find out a little bit more about the connections uh, this year between Make Music Day and Bash the Trash. So what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to hopefully uh, pin us, which means that we get the larger screen, and Karina and I are going to show you some of the instruments that you're going to be seeing us building a little bit later. Boing! Bang! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's turn off that thing. So let, let's see, because we want everybody to see the background here. So here we go. Ready? I start. Right. Go ahead. Short and sweet. All right, so let's find out about some places where you can actually build some musical instruments yourself. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you on a little internet tour first of a couple of websites. Now one is our Bash the Trash website. So I'm gonna now share a, a screen of a, a typical web browser. And you can probably see that screen right about there. Then I'm going to type into where our Bash the Trash website is, and that is www.bashthetrash.com. Up, oh. that's our dog Roxy getting into the uh, into the program here, and uh, you know, as I said, somebody's getting a package. All right, just like anybody else, we're at home, and so Roxy gets into the deal as well. So here you are at the Bash the Trash website. And you can see how our reactions to the COVID-19 and so forth. But where I really want to take you is right over here to where it says instruments. Now, if I click on instruments here, this is going to take you to our musical instrument page. <coughs> Excuse me. At the top of the page, you're going to see there's an overview of the science behind musical instruments. And if you click on that, you can see a relatively simple idea of the science of how musical instruments work. So you can take a look at that and read through that. That is some very useful ideas if you're, for example, doing a science project about sound. Or if you're not, it's just interesting to learn. Now, if you want to go a little deeper into the science and you're a teacher, for example, you might want to click on this other place here where it says a deep dive. You click there and you get a much longer 
much more science information. And this is like if you're doing really doing a lot of work on sound and how sound works. Or if you are more nerdy and you want to know more things in a little bit more depth. Now down below here we have strings, percussion, and winds. So let's take a quick look at one of these. We're just going to click on strings. And that takes us to a page where you can see that there's three different kinds of string instruments of different levels of difficulty. We've got the very simplest one, which is the rubber band box guitar, tube guitar, which is medium, and if you really want to challenge yourself, we have the styro cello. Now if I click on the tube guitar, what that shows us is, first of all, all the instructions that you need, including illustrations, so you have to be a little careful as you go through because you'll see that some of these things are things that you're going to need adults to do as well. And there's always at the top of the, of the page, you'll always find there is a disclaimer and really safety information. So right there is something that you should always look at to get that safety information as well. Okay, so that's one of the places you can go to. As I said, we have strings there. We have other kinds of instruments as well, so you can always check those things. There's Roxy getting into the program again. So now we're going to go and we'll go to a different place because where I'm going to take you next is our YouTube channel. And on the YouTube channel, what you're going to find is that there are lots of instructional videos. So now I'm going to go to www.youtube.com. And here, you click on the search line, type in bash the trash. That will take you to our channel. So if you click on the little, uh, little musical garbage can here, you'll find that we have lots of things going on. Right there, for example, there's our streaming mini show that's playing right now. Down below here, are our past live streaming shows. And down here are instructional musical instrument building videos. <clears throat> so here is where we're gonna be posting the new videos that are gonna be leading up to Make Music Day, which is in June. And so we're gonna be going back and talking to, to Jonah about that as well. All right, so I'm gonna stop the share on that. And uh, Jonah, I'm going to unmute you at this point. Uh, oh, there you are, already done. And I'm going to bring you up to gallery view so you and I can have a little conversation. Uh, so first of all, uh, let me introduce Jonah Udall. Jonah, say hi to everybody. Hello, my name's Jonah, here from Brooklyn. So Jonah, are, are you also in quarantine as well? I am, yeah, in a completely white box. No, that's not true. This is just a white <laughs> wall in my apartment. So has it been tough? Uh, you're a musician as well, right? I am, yes. Has it been tough for musicians during this time? It definitely has. It definitely has been really tough for musicians. A lot of people, you know, when everyone is isolated, no one's going out to any shows. So um, musicians who make their living playing shows don't have any more shows to play right now. Yeah, that's tough. Yep. Yep, and this is this is our situation as well that's as where we are at, and so are all of our musicians. Right. So we are. But that's why it's really cool that you guys are doing this online show because it gives us a way to reach people still. Right. Absolutely, and I mean, I, I, but I think that's really kind of the core of what your organization is all about. Is that right? Would you tell us a little bit about Make Music Day? Because I mean, I've seen some great resources online, but I'd really love to hear from you about what Make Music Day is all about. Absolutely. Make Music Day is a big international celebration, a holiday that was started in France in the 1980s, about 40 years ago. And it's now celebrated in over 100 countries in thousands of cities around the world. And it's a celebration of music, of music and everyone playing music and everyone participating in creating and experiencing music, listening to music and making music ourselves. Sometimes um, we might be told that music is only for these people that are called professional musicians. And 
professional musicians are great. We love them. They play very well. And it's great to listen to professional musicians. But also, music is something that everybody can do. So Make Music Day is really a lot about giving everyone the experience of making music together. And, you, you know, I, uh, Jonah, I think that's that's when you and I started to get together about this kind of thing, because, I mean, in Bash the Trash is certainly all about that idea. As we say, we put the home back in homemade musical instruments. But we also think that everybody should play music, whether in instruments, singing, which is an instrument, a ready-made instrument. Totally. Hanging on things that you have around. Everybody should play music. And I think everybody is a musician inside. I mean, it's true that every culture has invented music. And, you know, we all are, are so streaming music in our heads all the time and this crazy player of our brains and so forth. So I feel that, that this idea of music everywhere is, is really all about this. Now, uh, tell us a little bit about Make Music Day itself. It's coming up sometime in June. Is that correct? Yes. So Make Music Day is on June 21st. Every year it's June 21st. This year, it's it's a Sunday, and June 21st is also the first day of summer. So we think it's a great day to celebrate bringing people together around playing music. Oh, yeah. wait, 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 wait. When you say bringing year. people together, what, uh, uh, in, uh, what are we talking about here? Well, this year, we're going to be bringing people together online in a lot of different ways. Normally, Make Music Day involves people gathering together outdoors, but this year, in order to prevent the spread of the virus, we're all going to be making music together, but apart at the same time. That's really cool. So, so that really goes along with our idea of also creating musical instruments at home and then using those musical instruments to collaborate with others. You know, it's hard to play live, as we found out, but there's ways to get around this through technology and through some new and cool apps that are coming out. And I think that as more and more of us get online like this, this is going to be happening more and more. There's going to be some really cool things coming down the path. Definitely. Definitely. So I know that one thing that you've asked Bash the Trash to do is to create some videos for you so that people have some resources that they can work with. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. And John has made a bunch of really great videos that he just pointed you out where to find them on the YouTube channel and also on the Bash the Trash website um, that can show you how to make really cool instruments right in your own home with things that you already have. So you don't need to have some special equipment, some special instrument to call yourself a musician. You can be a musician right here, right now, just with what you have. and. That's that's absolutely the spirit of the moment. Great. Thanks so much. Okay, and I have another question yeah. though. You said 150 countries? Over 100 countries. Over 100 countries. I I believe it might be 120, but maybe it is 150. Let me ask you, is Argentina included? Yes. Mhm. Mm There's a big make music Argentina celebration. Yeah, and and we're and we are quite in touch with them. So that's John also just that's where me, I'm from. John was just telling me that the other day. So we'll definitely put you in touch. It's great. Fabulous. So listen, we're going to premiere uh, a new video today. And this wow. is a brand new balloon drum video, which is leading up to what you've been talking about as well. And I'm going to show you this video. And once I've, sh I've uh, we're done with this live streaming today, this is going to be posted up on our YouTube channel, just like I showed you before. And you can use it any time at all. You can broadcast it anywhere. It's for, there for anybody to use at any time. The balloon drums that we were playing before are kind of featured in that. And it's going to take you a little deeper into the concept of how balloon drums work. So I'm going to go ahead and share the screen. And with any luck, we're not going to run into any bizarre, weird, echoey things. And make sure this is all going well. Hi everyone, it's John Bertles of Bash the Trash, back again to show you another cool and weird musical instrument. Don't forget to check our website at www.bashthetrash.com for more ideas and to see what we do. Um, today we're going to be looking at tube drums. Now, you do need to have a couple of pretty gnarly tubes for this, as you can see I've got some 
gnarly tubes right here. Um, and you need two balloons, and you need some duct tape, and you need scissors. In this particular instrument, what we're doing is we're creating a vibrating membrane, two membranes, so we're actually gonna create balloon bongos. I cut off the valve of the balloon like that, and this is gonna make the membrane part. This makes a great instrument all by itself, and this I'll save for another episode. Basically, all you do is stretch it over the top like this, so it's stretched down kind of tight. And then I'm going to take some preset duct tape, which I have over here, and I'm just going to go around and sort of hold that into place. Otherwise, the balloon does tend to slip up. And the other one is one that's a deeper pitch. And you can affect it by making it tighter, but you can also affect it by the length of the tube as well. And those two things in combination are the things that really will affect the pitch. So I'm going to cut the valve off the balloon on this one, like so. Open it up and slide it over the top again. And this time what I want to do is I want to check the tension to make sure that the sound is considerably lower, as you can see there. So that's what I'm looking for. Play some garbage. step is to put together the two pieces using duct tape again. Now, the mistake that I see uh, a lot of kids making is playing the drums like this because they're all closed off at the bottom. When they're closed off at the bottom like that, none of the air pressure changes are getting out from there. So you really need to put them up at the top like this. go with the bongos. Yeah. All right, so uh, there you see the balloon drums there. Now, I just want to say a couple things. You know, sometimes those cardboard tubes are a little bit hard to find. And I know, Jonah, you've come up with an alternative solution. Is that correct? Yeah. Well, so back when I could leave my house more, I made this one with one of those gnarly tubes. Super fun. But it was kind of lonely. I wanted to make another one. But I can't go back to the same place that I got one of these. So I used a highly coveted toilet paper roll. <laughs> those are worth their weight in gold these days. <laughs> worth its weight in gold these days. So you definitely don't want to throw it away. So instead, once it's empty of toilet paper to uh, show that you, ha that you did indeed have toilet paper and you have used it, you can make it into a drum. In exactly the same way, it's just a lot smaller. And what's kind of fun about this drum, I don't know if you'll be able to hear it on this audio here, is, is you can squeeze it and kind of bend it into different shapes, which changes the sound as you go. <laughs> totally. Absolutely. You can definitely hear that. That's great. You know, what you're doing there is you're actually changing the tension on the on the membrane. And that's kind of what you're doing with this as well when you're pushing it down. So when you're making it, putting it down really tighter like that, the pitch is always going to get higher because the membrane is vibrating Let faster. Let me test that. Yeah. Yep. Now, Absolutely. I also want to point out another thing here as well. Um, so I'm going to unpin this for a sec and pin myself um and that is when you're stuck at home and there's a crisis going on one of the things that's probably passing through your house a lot is tin cans and it is also possible to use tin cans to make these things they make slightly different sounds you heard me say on the video for example it's better to have them open at the at the bottom but if you don't have those big cardboard tubes you could definitely use tin cans like what i've done here they actually make something that are more close to an Indian instrument called a tabla, which is a very similar kind of thing in the sense that it's an enclosed bowl made out of metal. And in this case, our bowl is made out of tin cans. Now, before we close up today, we're gonna to build one big giant instrument here. So Karina, you're gonna help me out here and we're gonna pull up this tube if you don't mind. And uh, let's see, what we have to choose the all important color uh, so I think 
something that this large should probably deserve to get the Darth I Vader think, color. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so let's go for the Darth Vader color. So we're going to take this. I'm going to cut off very carefully the top there. That right. scissor has seen better days. Probably everything here in Bash the Trash Land has seen better days. Okay, wait, let's get the other side because I want to get the, yeah, the, the, yeah, the this sort is of the smoother. Right, smoother side. I'm going to put that over the top and down like that. Oh! So much for that balloon. All, All right. right, shall we try the yellow? Let's try for yellow this time. Okay, so now I again. will try it this time. All right. And I've got the duct tape all set and ready to go. There we go. Okay, so your hand, and you spin it. And this is what happens when you have a giant balloon. Okay, let's try, see how it sounds. Now, one little trick that I'm going to tell you about this is what you can really do is pinch it and pull. And this is really fun. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for coming and joining us today. And first of all, I'd like to thank once again, Jonah for coming by. Let's everybody give a big round of applause for Jonah. <clears throat> and Thanks Jonah, we'll hear more about Make Music Day as we go. I know we're gonna be posting some things as we go and, and we'll make it clear. And I also think that uh, we're talking about doing something with uh, Make Music Day for uh, Earth Day as well, about some kind of celebration on Earth Day. So we'll let folks know how that develops, right? I have a question, Jonah. Uh, how do kids access your Make Music Day site on the day of? Yes, we'll have a lot of resources up on makemusicday.org. We're going to have a live stream lasting all day involving people's performances from their residences all around the world that will be curated kind of like a tv station and we'll have a lot of different really cool programs that people can participate in happening via zoom and other platforms and all kinds of events so yeah stay so tuned that is june 21st correct june 21st first day of winter for my argentinians yes i'm gonna can i tell my other argentine musicians that may not you may not have re reached absolutely yes absolutely awesome. great well that closes us out for today thanks so much for joining us jonah and i uh, just want to remind you once again that we'll be keeping going uh, doing these programs during the crisis that's tuesday at 11 and thursdays at 1 also uh, these are eastern daylight time after the program is done we leave them up on our youtube channel there's a little bit of an editing process so they come up about typically two or three hours later you can find our other uh, earlier mini shows on that channel as well. And finally, um, just to close this out, we want to ask everybody, please stay safe, please stay healthy, and please stay home. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye, Jonah. Bye, everyone. Bye. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Yeah, we love to get together and play garbage music all night. Yeah, we all get together and play garbage music all night.